And welcome back at 644, continuing our in-depth coverage of campaign 2016 this morning. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming joining us live in studio. And of course, we have to start off first with big night for Hillary Clinton. Now yes, the is. presumptive Democratic nominee as she won four out of the six states yesterday, including California, right. which we thought was going to be tight. But what is next now for her in the campaign? And also talk about this historic moment for her last night. Well, first off, for the next in the campaign, she has to unite the Democratic Party. Bernie Sanders will take some time. I think he has to look at the whole picture to realize that there's no opportunity for him to be the nominee and basically come to the conclusion to withdraw like she did in 2008. Uh, at that point, she has to get the Sanders people on her team. She started talking about that last night. She talked a lot about Bernie Sanders' support, uh, a lot of issues that Bernie Sanders wants. Uh, she supported those things last night, so she's trying to bring the Sanders people in already. Again, a very historic night. The first female nominated in a major party for president. Uh, you see that's being played up quite a bit today already. Mm. So I think we're going to see her really trying to move forward, uniting the Democratic Party over the next five or six weeks. It seems like that might be an easier uh, case for her than for the Republicans at this point with some of the moments that Donald Trump's been having uh, in the past week or so. There's no question about that. It seemed a couple weeks ago Donald Trump was starting to unite the Republican Party. He started to get Mitch McConnell, started to get Paul Ryan to come around. Then Donald Trump basically shot himself in the foot with the comments about the Mexican judge. And as a result, the Republicans now have been stepping back from Donald Trump. We saw one U.S. senator basically withdraw his support for Donald Trump. So Trump has to do an awful lot of work over the next few weeks to get that support back. I think he started last night. The speech he gave was on a teleprompter. It was scripted. He stayed on script. Yeah. He sounded more presidential. That's what Donald Trump has to do to get the Republicans back. All right, let's talk about Bernie Sanders again. You mentioned, uh, you know, he's for now staying in the races. Right. He's going to be there till the convention. But interestingly, he's having a meeting at the White House with President Obama tomorrow that he called. So mm -hmm. what do you think will happen between those two? Well, I have to assume the president at this point will ask Bernie to basically withdraw from the race, to suspend his campaign, that there's no path to victory for him and the unity of the party. I think by the president asking that, Bernie could basically say, you know, the president asked me for the benefit of the party to step back, and I may do that. But again, we're never sure what Bernie Sanders is going to do. He wants his positions in the platform. He may talk to the president about that, to making sure that some of his ideas are in the Democratic platform, and then he will step back. All right, real quickly, Hillary Clinton mentioned, you know, knowing what it feels like to lose a race, as you know, she right. ran before, it wasn't <laughs> successful. But really, does Bernie Sanders, if he officially drops out, does he have an obligation to, to help you know, Clinton win over his supporters? Well, I think Bernie Sanders will because he really does not want to see Donald Trump as president. That's the overriding factor here. He may not be a huge fan of Hillary, but at the same time, he does not want to see Donald Trump. We saw that Hillary Clinton in 2008 helping Barack Obama. Yeah. She came forward and did what's best for the party. As a result, it's helped her eight years later. Bernie does not want to burn all his bridges at this point. A lot of burns in that sentence yes. there. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you've been here throughout the campaign season, and it's not over yet. No. You'll find more in-depth coverage of campaign 2016 online at WPRI.com. And welcome back. We have more in-depth coverage of campaign 2016 now, keeping a pulse on all things politics. Our Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming is back in studio. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's begin with Hillary Clinton. Big night for her, without a doubt. Historic moment for her. So she apparently is, has enough delegates now to yes. secure the nomination. But how does Hillary Clinton try to sway those who've been opposed to her and some staunchly opposed to her for some time now? Well, a big part of it is the independent voters. Independent voters have a big problem with Hillary Clinton. She has to come across and try to change her image some, soften up a little bit. I think we saw that in her speech last night. She wasn't yelling. She was more presidential. Uh, the problem is that a lot of the negatives in Hillary are so entrenched, she has to really try to soften those negatives up to show the voters that she's very capable of being the president. At the same time, Donald Trump's doing a lot of things to help get Hillary Clinton votes. By the way he's acting, some people are saying, I may not want to vote for her, but I don't really have a choice at this point. All right, and Bernie Sanders last night made it clear he's going to do what he said he's going to do, and that's right. take it all the way to the convention. Right. But is there any way for him to try to sway the nomination or take it away from her? Is there any possibility of that happening? No, not at this point. He's behind on the pledge delegates. He's behind on the total votes. He's lost more states than he's won. I see no way at all. Hillary Clinton basically said the same thing, too, eight years ago. But then a couple of days later, she realized and settled down that she cast, cannot win the nomination and she withdrew for Barack Obama. I think in the end, Bernie Sanders would do the same thing, but he's looking for things in the Democratic platform that he wants to get from the Clinton campaign. I think once he gets that, he will step back from this race. And we know that he is going to be meeting with President Obama, right. that's Bernie Sanders, tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that meeting. Right. All right, let's move on to Donald Trump. So very controversial, 
Mm -hmm. That's not an overstatement, right? He's, no. uh, he's already said he's going to give a speech on the Clintons next week. Yeah. He says it's going to be interesting and informative. But what do you think we're going to hear in that speech? Well, we're really not sure because we don't know which Donald Trump we're going to get. Last night, we had a totally different Donald Trump than we got a couple days earlier this week. So we don't know if on Monday or Tuesday when he comes out with his speech, he's going to be out there blasting Clinton or if he's going to lay out everything that she's done over the years. If he lays it out, he may sound a lot more presidential. If he comes out in a tirade, he's not going to sound presidential. That's going to hurt him. I think his handlers are trying to get him more into control. The problem is how long can you keep Donald Trump under control? But he's going to really talk about the Clinton Foundation. He's going to talk about Benghazi. Mm. He's going to talk about the emails. He's going to bring up everything that's been brought up already. And he's probably going to try to find some new stuff. All right. And quickly, Trump says, hey, I want Bernie supporters to come to me. How can Trump win over the Bernie supporters? I think in the end, he won't win over the Bernie supporters. I think philosophically, they're more in line with Hillary Clinton. I think after they get over the shock that Bernie Sanders is not going to be nominated, as Clinton's people did eight years ago, they will fall in line with Hillary Clinton. I don't see Donald Trump picking up many Bernie Sanders supporters at all. All right, Joe Fleming, thanks again for your My perspective. Pleasure. We appreciate it. And for the latest campaign coverage, you know where to go, WPRI.com.